Hello everyone, welcome to another video on geometry nodes. Today we will see about boolean loop. I release new videos on a weekly basis. Please subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified when I upload one. This is Jay from CJ Academy. Let's start. Yeah, I have created the basic geometry node for the cube. Now we will see about input constant boolean node. In today's video we will see about boolean node. Boolean node, as it explains, it has a Boolean value. So, this is the value. It's either true or false based on the checkbox selection. And if any node in general, if you want to see how it's connected, where and all it can connect, you can drag and release the socket entry. And then you can see it can connect to all these different nodes, for example. So, this is possible. But uh, today I will just go through the boolean node with the basic cube so that you can understand what an it can do so to connect the boolean node you can see it's a input node so there has to be a node with a, a receiving socket so let's go for cube subdivision that is subdivide surface subdivision surface you can see it has subdivided the surface of the cube and it's almost coming like a sphere now connecting this to any one of this socket so the value range is from 0 to 1 in a floating point uh, format and also the float value from 0 to 1 is a good example to use the boolean node because boolean can only give you 0 and 1 or true or false if you check this box it says true and true is considered as 1 in float value if i say uncheck it then it is false that means the value is 0 if you connect it to here it's the same thing it says either true or false false means 0 true means one okay so we'll connect back to the vertex crease so if it says one yes we want the vertex crease it will just go to one then the vertex or the endpoints of this cube is preserved so you get that nice sharp uh, structure now all the input especially input constant nodes are preferable having same input to be given in multiple nodes if i go for shade smooth which is normal for any object you want to shade it smooth we'll connect it here so now it is smooth this if you see it has a similar setup it has a checkbox and it says true if you check and check it then it is false now this input you can control using this okay so this is the power of input nodes so you can con control more than one input entries from the single circuit so now if i say uncheck both of them are false then goes a zero here also it's false now if you see this is value is false and it is transferred as false now here it is false but it is transferred as float value zero now the same thing is ap uh, applicable for if you go for integer value so integer value now it is false means here it will be zero so there is zero subdivision now if i say yes then here it is one integer value because this is true here it is one but it's a float value and here it is true transferred as boolean value this is the data conversion happens automatically and if it is valid it will take it can connect to vector vector nodes also in the in those cases it will say whether the particular uh, node has a zero as vector value or one as vector value so transform geometry if i go just to show you how different uh, data type works so now uh, we have translation is zero okay i connect it here what it says true here then 
1 comma 1 comma 1 if I say false then as usual like here it is 0 here it is 0 integer and float here it is boolean value false here it is a 0 comma 0 comma 0 that means vector value so a boolean value can be converted to different data formats as you seen here where it makes meaningful connection there we have to use so far using it for integer it doesn't make sense because integer means it can go for more than one but boolean is restricted to zero to one okay so wherever it is meaningful you can connect it and use it and let's say now uh, you want subdivision okay and you want the vertex crease to be restricted yes but you don't want it to shade smooth then we can go for boolean math okay so you can connect it and say not so the boolean value taken as not okay is taken as true will be uh, given as false so true is converted to false then shade smooth is false so it doesn't take it now if i say if i uncheck it then this is false taken as zero here no vertex crease that's why it's smooth at the same time here it is false and then it is taken as true so yes please shade smooth so using a boolean math uh, with a combine, com combined with the boolean node the input node you can control many different aspects of the geometry if you find this video useful please like it and share it with your colleagues Please subscribe to my channel so that you will get more useful videos like this. Thank you. Bye.